Questions for Kyrie? Yeah, we've got the boom mics around the room. Please raise your hand for questions. Any questions? Dave, right here on the left side. Mm -hmm. Gary, Dave McBenamin, ESPN. When you, in the moment now, reflect on this series, how do you view the gap between you guys and the Warriors? Um, I mean, you feel obviously the disappointment of losing. Um, you know, uh, a lot of decisions that you'll replay over throughout the summer. Um, you know, you can't forget this feeling. Um, but the you know, they beat us fair and square, and you have to give them credit. And, um, you know, got to talk to a few guys after the game. Um, you know, Clay, Steph, um, KD, a few other guys, and just congratulate them because they beat us fair and square. And um, you got to give credit when credit is due. Um, you know, no malice. Um, emotions from our end, just, you know, obviously we're disappointed. It was a long year. Um, this has been probably the longest year and a half of my life, um, hands down. So, um, you know, just a test of will, a lot of individual um, adversity as well as collective adversity that leads all up to this moment. You don't come out on the successful side. Um, and still, it's no time to wallow in any sorrows or anything like that. Um, just uh, <clears throat> congratulate the, the other team like we did, and then, and then we move on. So. You mentioned it being a long year and a half for you. It was game number 100 of the Cavs season. If you add postseason and, and the regular season, were you playing through anything tonight outside of the wear and tear of all those games accumulated? Man, after I hit my uh, my dang knee on the floor, after that, my my little back started to tighten up, and um, you know, as the fourth quarter started to happen, um, you know, a lot of shots and layups that I normally make, they just weren't falling. Um, so that kind of took the wind out of my sails and. Um, you know, but it was a, it was other things that um, kind of led up to that moment for us, for them to create that separation of the lead. You know, you want, you don't want to create any any excuses for just being beat fair and square. You know, that's, you know, that they're, they're a great team, and and they did that, and they uh, took away some things that were working for us in the first half, and then in the second half they a little bit more physical. Um, but it was just overall a great series. Um, you know, I don't want any type of excuse or anything back in between, um, you know, the Warriors beating us fair and square. You know, that, I've never been that type of person. So, no, I was fine. It's, it's the finals. So, you know, obviously everyone's hurt. But, you know, it, it makes the – you just got to raise up your, uh, you know, your mental and physical um, attitude and just go out there and play, which we did tonight. But we didn't come out and successful in. Race in the back row. Chris Fedor, Cleveland.com. Kyrie, when you lose to a team fair and square, as you said, all losses are hard, obviously, but does it become easier to digest this one because of the way that the series went? Um, it's never easy to digest any loss. I mean, we lost, so um, obviously there's some positive things you could take from it, but it's no thing to easily digest or anything like that. Um, you know, the next thing that I'm looking forward to is um, – you know, getting these couple weeks off, and then we get right back to it. So um, that's just the grind of the game and things that happen within the game. Um, you know, you let go. Um, you leave them where they stand, um, and you collect the troops up again, and we get ready to go do this thing again. So they have an incredible team. They beat us, but um, I'm pretty sure we'll be back and we'll be ready to battle again. So. And even though, even though tonight was the clincher, how much are you going to reflect when you think back on the series? How much are you going to reflect on Game Three? Um, what do you mean? Just what I what I would take away from it? Yeah. Um, I mean, the reflection process will come in its totality of um, the whole entire series. You know, you you know, you want to kind of put a reasoning behind, like, okay, if we win Game Three, maybe this is a different series, but. Um, if we don't take care of it in the, in the moment, then, I mean, we picked ourselves back up. We battled in game four. We came back to San Fran. We tried to set another goal in order to get back to Cleveland and play at home. Um, but we didn't accomplish that. So, um, you know, like I said, you just pick yourself back up and you and you keep pushing and you keep going. And, 
you know, it's fueling me inside right now. I can feel it. Um, you know, I'll talk to all my teammates, you know, look them in the eye and tell them that I'm proud of them because it was an unbelievable season. We dealt with a, a shit ton of adversity, excuse my language, but, I mean, you know, the daily evolution of what you can accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis when you are around so many different individuals um, that makes up a, an organization. Man, there's so many moving parts, and I couldn't be, uh, you know, more proud to be part of a even better organization, and including my teammates that I'm around constantly every day. So, um, you know, there's a few things, takeaways that you can uh, take away from the series, but um, only room to go is to grow from here. So. Last question on the right side. Uh, Dave Schilling, Bleacher <clears throat> Report. Reflect, if you can, on these last three years with LeBron, what you've seen, the magnitude of his performances, and specifically this finals where he's averaging a triple-double. Oh, man, that, that guy is, uh, you know, I think that uh, some people would say that he's on the toe of, like, on he's on the line of greatness, but that man, that, that guy is way over. <laughs> man, he's, he's freaking awesome, and... Um, you know, as a as a student of the game, uh, it would be uh, a disservice to myself if I didn't try to learn as much as possible while I'm playing with this guy. You know, um, you know, every single day, demanding more out of himself, demanding more out of us. Um, you know, the true testament, uh, consummate professional, um, in understanding how things work, not only just in the game but off the court, um, things that matter, just taking care of your body understanding the the magnitude of of what the goal is at hand and what steps it takes in order to achieve that goal you can't skip any steps and that was one thing that um you know I came to understand because as a young player you want everything to happen right now and bronze been in this league for a while now and he's seen every which way um you know from on the court to off the court to dealing with some of you guys to dealing with the whole world of of uh you know just choosing a side whether you want to believe in him or not he's still coming and um that's the type of guy that i want to be with every single time i'm going to war because i know what to expect and um you stand your ground too with a leader like that you know you don't you, you don't want to take a step back you you move to the front line with a guy like that and you want to bring your game up to another level and that's what I'm going to continue to do because I know that if we continue to be with one another and keep utilizing one another, man, the sky is the limit. So, um, you know, I've learned a lot and I will continue to. And I couldn't be more proud of that guy, man. He uh, he left it all out there on the floor. And, I mean, to average a triple-double in the freaking finals, man, add, add that to the LeBron long list that everyone keeps forgetting. So, Thank you, Kyrie.